Hey guys, it's uh, Joe and Isaiah from the Automator. And uh, earlier we were we I released a video talking about uh, automating IE, and of course IE is going away. But um, we were working on something, and I had shared some code with Isaiah on how to send like a paste command in a in some other I forget what was the original one I, I gave to you, but um, and uh, you were dissecting it and looking at it, and that was where you went down this very interesting path, which I do remember. Which I don't know if you're going to demonstrate. Let's just go ahead and jump in. Why don't you start sharing your screen and talk yeah, through sure. what you're doing? Yeah, sure. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it. So here's the part where uh, it, at the beginning, one of the first things you sent me before was this control sent to the Internet Explorer. And this was for hitting enter because uh, there are some ways that uh, when you're using the Internet Explorer, there are some hot keys. Uh, that do not work as usually they would do, right? So in this case, that was one of the first codes that you sent me. And what I'm trying to do is kind of like send a, a variable that I have. And I didn't want to send it with control send or send because it is being very unreliable on Internet Explorer. So then you told me about this exec command. And the way how you sent it is that um, if I could just go ahead and grab this, it was like, uh, something with the, how do you, you do that with the, um, let me see, hold on, here it is. This, you had this up that was kind of like a, an object and the person was actually, it was Jackie that created it, right? Yeah, like, so like you five created, years yeah. ago. So it was a long time ago. Um, yeah, so in this no. case, what, what, what happened is that each of the codes, he had a, a, a um, it was a key value pair and right. number three would be copy, number 22 would be paste. And what I thought is that, okay, let me go ahead and pass 22, which is paste um, in that object. That's what I was, I understood that that's what, what he was going for. But after further inspection, when I take, uh, because nothing happened when I tried it, nothing happened. And, and upon further inspection, I noticed that this command, you just pass the name of the but that's command. What that's what that object would have done though, right? Giving it the oh, index. It seems, yeah, so, so you would put it the number 22. Of what, right. Now, the thing is that why would you need to remember 22 in the first place? Maybe it, you had something it, else going on, right? So we were messing around. Yeah, we had a lot of other stuff. And I think he was right. trying to show me objects, like storing stuff in objects at the time. Right, okay, right. okay. So so in that case, I understand what, the, what he was trying to do. But basically, the only thing that you have to pass is the name paste or cut or copy and so on, right? Now, this was working. But <laughs> this is the funny thing. As soon as you sent me the 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 uh, thing, which is kind of like a here it is. It is a link. The first thing I saw there, and it was in red in big. It was deprecated, of course. And it, and and that's something that as soon as I saw it, I said like, hold on. If that's deprecated, I shouldn't be using it. The reason for it is that soon at some point, well, not soon because it can take years. Very likely this was deprecated a few years ago. At some ago. point. But yeah. at some point, just from the sun, they it's can take working. this off of one of the uh, of the browsers and it's not gonna work. So it's not good to use commands that are gonna be removed at some point. So I said like, what else can we use? And I remember that you and I were talking about the Internet Explorer thing and that it had this execute command, but we didn't find That'd it. Be and then we saw, exec wb and i said like yeah, hold right. on this is right. the one is instead of exec command it would be exec wb so let me go ahead and pass it and now this is the part that we wanted to talk about so okay right. now yeah, really i just got here now how do i turn this into auto hotkey code and that's where it gets a little bit tricky because this is c plus plus now it tells me that there are some parameters um there are four parameters but two of them are optional as you can see down here Okay, so those parameters are optional. So I don't really care about them that much right now, unless I really need to. One of them, uh, it passes command input arguments and the other one uh, retrieves the output of the command. So if the command gives you oh, okay. output, you would put a variable that is gonna return the output of that command. So those two, I know what they do. That's the first thing I do. I read them all. I know what they do. If I need them, then I will see how I use that. In any case, I will focus on those that I really need. Command ID and the options. And those are the ones that I really need. So it says that it is a value, a select CMD ID value, 
that specifies the command to execute. The first thing I do is that I click on that. And I notice that there's a lot of commands that I could access, like for example, save, save as, print. But I cannot use that as is on auto hot key. Actually, if I go ahead and use this, let's say for example, WB, exec WB, and I try to pass that, for example, like a save, that's not gonna work because I don't have, I sure. don't have like a variable that it, has that right. information. So it, I need- it's, 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 it's in Excel when you get a constant, Excel yeah. knows what it is, but, yeah. you, but you, you don't know. Yeah, so exactly. we have to, So basically yeah. in our case, it is a constant that we don't know what it is all about. I need to know the value of the constant. Usually those constants, especially if they're type enumerators, they go one by one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's a type uh, in, in C++ that that's what it does. You say, uh, you just say the number, uh, the, the, the name of the variable here on the top, and every single one of those descriptions gets automatically assigned a number. That's what's going on. And usually it's in the, in the form of one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it doesn't start at zero? No, it doesn't. Okay. All right. Oh, let me double check on that because if I remember right, whatever, correctly, it's okay. yeah, I mean, so, but in any yeah. case, I'm like, okay, but how do I get the number right. here is where it gets a little bit tricky because you don't get the numbers from here. They just give you the, 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 the object numerator. The first thing that you have to check is the header file where they are located at. That's it. That's yeah. where this definition, this definition is in a header file. You go yeah, to that you've header told me file. about that before. It's like a helper right. kind of file. Right. That's a file. Yeah, that's the one that we're yeah. looking for. Now, usually if it is not on the on the name right here on the top, most of the times it is. But if it's not, you can also find it down here where it says requirements. It tells you what the header is. Now, this header file, if you have the Windows SDK installed on your computer, you will have that header file in your and computer. You open it. Yeah. Right. In any case, if you don't have it, you could easily go that. on Google and somebody somewhere, yeah. right. you're going to skip the ones from Microsoft because they are not going to tell you, right? So right. you could go, for example, somebody uploaded the headers for Windows 10. So you just click there. Now you have the whole header file. Now you know how it looks like, but it has a lot of information besides the one that you're looking for. So yeah. just go ahead and look for the one that you're interested in. So for example, I was interested in pasting. I copy search there it is and there you go so it starts at one as you can see now and it, yeah the next i don't know if you tried be... this but the other thing that that this gets me gets me a little goosebumps on is now that you have this i would either yeah, consider yeah. searching for that entire row or just the, the text the first one on the auto hockey forum because it's possible okay. someone has actually done this you know whole process before we just never knew about it right right uh, right now, for example, if I just look for that HK and let's see what happens, create an Internet Explorer server control and look at that. He already has an object right there. Mm -hmm. um, as you can see that he, he kind of like did part of the work, um, but he only did the ones that he's interested in. Right. He has right. cut, copy right. and paste. And he has them in an object in which if he passes that, probably if you pass a hotkey, it's just going to send that number. But look at the right rows there. above it with the select all, copy, paste, cut. That, that looks, almost looks exactly like what we had yes. in, in our, our template. Yeah. It, it actually, and actually, look at that, the 22 and the, so on. So yes. it looks like it was work, but um, yeah. I think this had to do with some, with a com object. You see that? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this is a com object, and it seems to that to that com object you would pass it like this, while to the Internet Explorer window, like the ActiveX control, mm -hmm. you would actually pass it in this form. So cool. it, it depends how you are accessing it. Now yeah, the anyway. one thing is, yeah, the one thing is, now that you know the number thirteen, now you can pass that as an object here, like thirteen, mm -hmm. just what you would pass but to it. You but said there was, again, yeah. there are two options. The, 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 there's parameters. two parameters. Oh. Two parameters. Now the second one, I already have one. Now the second one would be uh, an, an option for the command. And if you click on it, you will notice that it is also defined in the same file. You see that? Yep. Yep. So I just have to grab whatever I need. So I see that default, do default, prompt user, don't prompt user, uh, show help. Yep. So what I'm seeing is, okay, it seems to me that there are certain commands, for example, the print command. 
that you hit the print command and you get a dialog that confirms if you want to print that. You could actually say, don't prompt the user. And as soon as you send the command, it's just gonna go ahead and print without giving you this dialog. In this case, I would always go with do default. And when I use this one, I could go ahead and in the same file, just control F and you will notice that it is right on top of the other one. So right on open save, you right on top of it, yeah, they have right that. There. But this one starts at zero. You see that? So this one starts at one, but this one starts at zero. Yeah. So it, so it's so, not so it depends. That's what I meant. So it, it depends. Yeah. I cannot be one hundred percent sure. It depends on the definition. But always, most of the time, it, and unless they do it manually, the definitions go one by one, zero, one, two, three, so yeah. on. Unless they sometimes uh, either jump a number because they are reserving numbers for something. Yeah. Or they're doing some other kind of like, you know, like when they the, have flags, kind of like flags. Box. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah flags mm. that it is kind of like a combination of them. Right. If it is not a combination, it's if, if it is just one of them, it's going to be like a number, like uh, uh, incrementing by one. That's what it's going to be. Now, I already have both. I have zero and, uh, and, and that's it. I do the comma here, zero. And now my script is working perfectly fine. Now, when I go ahead and try to do whatever I was doing, like in our case, it was just selecting multiple files and creating multiple uh, uh, objects like this, it would just go ahead and do it automatically for me, for each of them. As you can see, it just does it and pastes the name of the file immediately instead of actually sending the input, which was causing a problem, right? Now, this is the end of it, but I did want to mention something. You see how in Windows uh, programming, C++ programming, you have this H file that you could go ahead and uh, that you define variables that then on your command, instead of passing numbers, like I just did, like a 13. Right. What if I want to pass what it is so you can, right. so that you know what it is, like paste in here. Yeah, well, it's intuitive, right. Yeah, so you can do that. That's not a problem. In a hotkey, what I just do is, I just go ahead and open an, uh, a file. It doesn't matter what the file extension is. Mm -hmm. I just open a file, copy those variables, right? I just copy them like this. Those are the ones that I'm interested in. And you're good to go. If you include that file, just like that, now you have all those variables. That's it. So now... Well and, and just because this is, it's, it, the names that are there are, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the standard ones. Consequential. but I mean, right. it, it wouldn't. So to me, I'd be like, why don't we go ahead and replace all the O L E C M I D underscore mm -hmm. because it, it's not really needed. These guys, like these guys in here on the top. Right. right. So, no. well, and, and the next ones too. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I understand what you mean. So okay. removing all of that. Now, the, the, the reason why I would go against that is because now I, I release my script or whatever, or 10 years from now, I want to know where that came from. And if I have this weird name and I paste it in Google, yeah. well, then I'm going to get like the correct information right. about it. So now, if you so remove what, that, then, then we would lose right. that information. But again, I, I, you don't have to delete it. No, Let's no. just not use it in our object, right? What you could do is make it as a comment to keep everything oh, yeah, to the, to the comment to the right and then have the, the simple, because again, like I, I want to make it user-friendly, right? Where it's, it's oh, super yeah, easy. Okay. Um, well, that's the thing. Uh, whenever you're programming, this part of the program, users will never have to see supposedly, right? They just have to click a button, does the, pro, the, the job, and they wouldn't even see how you set it up. No, but, but no, I but do get your idea. So for other uh, beginner programmers, uh, right. it would be user friendly if they just um, they don't bring down see all the or, yeah right. So yeah, new yeah. No, in that case, yeah, I do understand the point in that. I but, and just... I get your point too, though. Of it, there's value, there's information in having the original stuff, right? I mean, the other one is you you just you know which which would be bad, but hyperlink to which I would say anyway, hyperlink back to where you got it from because mm -hmm. you'll want that at some point. Oh right? yeah, 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 that's but true. Those things go away, unfortunately. So yeah. Now yeah, the so. the other thing that I would say, uh, the reason why they put this uh, 
things in here on the top, on the front, is because there are many headers and all of them might use the copy paste and save names, yeah, right? So, point. and they they put this so that you know which you yeah. refer, yeah, right. which one you're referring to. In our case, we don't need all that because we are just going to use the saved, right? Which is okay. That's not a problem. But that's the reason why they have that in there, you know? Yeah. Cool. So, so in um, any case, uh, yeah. So this is something that is good to talk about it if you are learning to program and if you're a beginner and in some point you're touching these type of topics, how would you go to MSDN? How would you get that information? How do we actually get what we need from C++ to auto hotkey? Well, that's there. That's how I go. Notice that I only use two options because the command that I'm using doesn't need anything extra. So I'm just using those two uh, options. And in my case, uh, you know, it was very simple. It was, it, it looks complicated, looks complex. But in the end, it was just very simple. It's something that you could do, you know, easily. Um, <clears throat> do me a favor and go ahead and save those. We'll we'll put those as a download for anyone watching the video. They want them. They can get yeah, them sure. on Automator. So, awesome, cool Thank stuff, you. man. <laughs> we'll take later. Thank you. Bye.